So Brian and I yesterday, believe it or not, for the guests who just to for the people just tuning in, Ron and I talked about yesterday. Um, we left off at the Cuban, the Cuban crisis that's going on right now with Castro. No, 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 Mark, Mark. Right. That's Cuban stupidity. That's not a crisis. That's stupidity. Stupidity. So it's right out of the White House. Okay. You're going to take somebody from a country that has done absolutely nothing mm -hmm. except misuse its people, starve them, kill them, do anything that's anti-Cuba or anti-Castro, and then we're going to give them something to nothing? No, that's Cuban stupidity by the White House. That's true, it is. You're right. Uh, but the, we are in a crisis, though, with North Korea, with Syria, Iran, and now with uh, uh, with Putin, too, with Russia. Thank you so I can thank the Obama regime for this. Well, you know, Putin put himself in that position. Right. And it's not just America. The whole world has gone against Putin. Strictly for what he's done to the Ukraine and that southern part of the Ukraine. Yep. Uh, I can't remember what that little piece of the country was called. I, Putin's like everybody else. He's made his own bed, but he doesn't want to lay in it. Right. Same thing with Ferguson, Missouri. Mm -hmm. They made their bed. That clown, that, the, the, the gentle giant. Right. He has to be killed. Right. He put himself in that position, and he paid the price. But everybody else is guilty except him. Right. The are in that police officer's life. Right. are in it. Right. Just because he was white and that stupid ass was black? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. It's time that we got over the fact that we're black and start realizing that we're human beings who make decisions that have consequences. And now, the, <laughs> now, now with Jesse Jackson and Sharpton, they're trying to bring back the slavery issue again. It was over states' rights. The Civil War was over states' rights. They don't understand that. They don't get it, Ron Hallwell. They, no, they don't. They, they absolutely don't. And they're hoping, praying, that the people that they're talking to or talking at don't know any better. Right. Al Sharpton's about as much of a reverend as my, my tennis shoes. <laughs> he has never spent one day mm -hmm. being trained to understand that he's supposed to represent God? Right. What God? What God does he represent? Just like Jesse sure Jackson, the Bible. Just like Jesse Jackson, you got Reverend, we got Mr. Wright too as well. Don't forget Mr. Wright. Well, Reverend Wright, I don't know nothing about him. I you know, I refuse to even look into him. Well, I mean, I haven't gotten over all the stuff I found out on, on Jesse Jackson. Do you realize Jesse Jackson started the uh, uh, Bible college went for six months. Yep. Martin Luther King got killed. That's correct. Do you know, do you know why he went? Martin Luther King told Jesse Jackson straight out, in order for you to be a member of the Southern uh, Conference Leadership Group or whatever, the SCLC, you have to be an ordained minister. Mm -hmm. So Jesse Jackson hopped into a Bible school, never finished. But he wants to be called Reverend? Reverend of what? Right. I'm tired of these phonies. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they and they use tax dollars to get their stupid their stupid agenda out there. Tax dollars. They don't use their own funds. They use tax dollars. Yeah, they, they can't even pay their own taxes. Nope. Al Shop is three million dollars due in taxes. That's right. But guess what? That idiot we got sitting in the White House ain't making them pay his taxes. Right, and he got he got J.C. Jackson. He's got two million dollars worth of property taxes. He owes the the owes the government too as well. And this is over ten years. Ten years property taxes, and he has not paid that either. He has not paid that either. We want to, we want to be sure about. We want to be clear about this. He hasn't paid that either. And these people are these people are using tax dollars, but yet they can't even afford to pay their own taxes. I don't get it. I don't get this, Ron Hallwell. Yes, you do. It's called privileged character core. 
Oh, okay. Privileged characters don't have to pay their way. Uh-huh. The United States government pays their way. Ah. Uh-huh. You know, what's funny, in 1980 to 88, when um, uh, Reagan was in office, we didn't have any of this. Right. But guess what? Clinton had it. Clinton had his people who didn't have to pay taxes. That's right. And now this idiot Obama yep. has his 